Finally tonight, a heartwarming homecoming. Marine Staff Sergeant Mike Epperson came home from Iraq last week. His two daughters attend St. Mary's School in Cardin, Ohio, and the school adopted his Marine unit, sending packages and letters through the year. So the sergeant went to visit the school to say thanks. But for his two daughters, Caitlin and Kaylee, it was a surprise. They didn't know he'd come home. So at a school assembly, the principal, Sister Sandy, she's called, come on in. opened the door, and Sergeant Epperson simply walked in. It took his daughters a moment to realize who was there, and after that, well, no words are needed. Hey, I'm home, okay? I'm home, man. Yeah, I'm probably going to cry, so I apologize. I haven't seen him in, in almost eight months, and I'm glad to be home. All of your warm uh, care packages, boxes, and letters like that got out to all the Marines there. Every one of them said thank you. Every one of them, all those three-by-five cards that you made me, I read every one of those, every single one. And then Caitlin and Kaylee took him to meet their classes. Have you all been good? Yeah. Yeah. Caitlin's class sang the anthem. And the emotion of the moment overcame her. And overcame her dad as well. Welcome home, Sergeant. Nice to have you back. That's our special edition of World News for this Monday. I'm Charlie Gibson, and I hope you've had a good day. For all of us at ABC News. Hi, Kathy. You just took a picture, didn't you? No, I didn't. It's recording. Oh. How do you feel about surprising your family? I am really excited. They can't really see you, but they hear you. That's okay. We're almost there. We're pulling in. It's going to be awesome. We're kind of in the back way. Okay. All right. Anything else you want to say? I love my family. I love you. <laughs> love me too. Ladies and gentlemen. No! Way! Oh, you are such a snob! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god, we were just talking about you! That is too funny! Did you guys know her? No. Yeah. Wow! <laughs> How did you get here? Well, I mean, duh. <laughs> I picked him up. In town. Was to pick him Aww. up in the airport or something. We were just talking. Aww. She just made him a Valentine's. <laughs> well, then Aww. you can go give it to me. Okay. You're so sweet. Lindsay's like, are you home for the weekend? Yeah. Just the weekend? Yeah. Aww. Katie knew, except uh, I did. I didn't know. I actually suspected you were coming here at least. No, I just figured it out. You. Hi. Chris is like, why is Dad always over by the door? Did you know? This is what he was doing two seconds ago. Standing there like this, bopping the ball. Like, no, what is he no. doing? He was he was the door. He, no, yes. but he's like, I can't believe it's snowing so much. Oh, it's it snowing. <laughs> it's actually snowing yeah. in Michigan. I'm like, Dad, it's snow. And he's like, but it hasn't snowed all winter. <laughs> what a sweet surprise. Yeah, we already went to Starbucks and said hi to everybody. Oh, I know you! We all went to the mall. We, we got, we, my Which mall did you go to? No, you all went to the mall. Oh, right. I thought this was the game at 11, I mean, 11.50. Yeah, why did it come early? Because I, I had a refundable ticket. I mean, I, uh, there was How'd office. you get a refundable ticket? I bought a refundable ticket. Oh. Well, I wasn't sure. <laughs> oh, come on in! Oh, I'm yeah! I'm definitely nervous a bit. I'm um, in a good way, I think. Army Major J.D. Tillman hasn't seen his son in 10 months. I've, I've missed him a whole bunch. Um, I've actually thought about this day um, quite a bit over the last several months. A while ago, he promised Jalen he'd be back by his 16th birthday. He's made it with one day to spare. Hey, oh my God! <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> What's up, dude? Oh my God! <laughs> Tillman lost 55 pounds overseas. He wondered if his son would even recognize him, but immediately he did. What went through your head? That's my dad. 
it just kind of, I mean, because I'm thinking he's in Afghanistan. How much does it mean to you for him to be here for your 16th birthday? More than anything that I could ever imagine. This hog is something they've both been waiting for. I need to touch him, you know, something I hadn't done in a long time. I've had that mental image um, over and over. His son is now old enough to understand. His father's job is a dangerous one. I try not to think about it, but you know, I mean, it's a whole nother world over there. But on his 16th birthday, he won't have to worry. His father is home. I'm just happy. I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> Office. Welcome to 2014. Marty! Hi. Sarah! <laughs> Wait a minute! Where are the Prince and the Duke? Oh, we have a little bit of a problem. What happened? Well, we got lost while traveling through time. You see, we weren't quite sure how to use this machine and well, it took me all the way to Afghanistan. But luckily, Staff Sergeant Justin Haggerty helped me find my way back. Come on, Justin! Yeah.
<laughs> this is the look on your face. Oh my God. Thought you were going to have a heart attack. Okay. What are you going on? You're not being deported, are you? No. You're too small, that's not. Because you know how I felt yeah. about that. Yeah. It puts a stigma on everything. And I, you know, I never separated when the parents got divorced. Easy, you know. Water. I don't need water. When the parents got divorced, the children never did. Root beer float and a Michelob Ultra, right? Two Michelob Ultra. Oh, two Michelob With lime. With lime. A nice cold glass. I read some place that you're not going to do that. Ma'am? What? PJ! That's a lie. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Santa brought you something for Merry Christmas. There it is. Boy, she said quite a day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys. Yeah, she's been like this all day since I showed up. You <laughs> How do you like your Christmas present? <laughs> <laughs> you what? <laughs> oh, thank you so much. That's why I was not letting you get out of it. <laughs> did you like it? Oh, did I like it? Oh. We have the coming home party. What kind of games would y'all like to play? Oh, God. Peach and Marshers. Do y'all even know what that is? You know what Peach and Marshers is? Hopscotch. Lee wants to play hopscotch. What is that? What is that? Hopscotch. Oh, my gosh. What is that? Cheyenne, come back. Come here. Come here, Lee. Come here, Lee. Come in here. Come in here. What is that? Fire truck. Why? They said we got a check for a fire. We got a check for a
so uh, make it short and sweet, and uh, do me a favor, and suck it up, princess. Turn around and give your son a hug. Love you. Turn around and give your son a hug. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>